Hi, welcome to Stampy's Random Reviews and Tutorials. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to import .mov files into Sony Movie Studio, or more commonly known as Sony Vegas. So, what I'm going to just do is demonstrate to you that I can't actually do this. If I click Add Media, I'm going to go down to this here, which is a lower third graphic I use. This is a .mov file, and click Open. You can see I get the error, unsupported format. Now, on certain files, you can actually uh, try and get away with this sometimes just by clicking this box here, going to the All Files section, and seeing what it'll bring up and opening it from there. But as you can still see, I still get the error. So what you need to do to correct this error is you need to down, download actual QuickTime for Windows. So just type in uh, download QuickTime Windows. I'm using Windows 10. It's January 2020 at the minute. And just download this. Now there's a little uh, tip you might need to do just to get this to work. So I'm going to hit that and I'm going to upload this file in just a second. But one thing I want to do, it doesn't work if you don't do this, is, is I just want to click, right click this and click show in folder and then what I need to do is run this as administrator so if you don't run it as administrator it might not let you do it if it doesn't let you do it try reinstarting your computer and it may work so click run as administrator we'll just let it go through the motions I'll click yes only takes a second to install so just stick with me and I'll show you that this fix works typical installs absolutely fine I'm having to do this because I've got a brand new computer. Obviously, as I've just shown you there, my computer will actually import these .mov files. And I do need it to do that because this is what I use for my lower third graphics on my own channels on YouTube. So, in just a second, I'll show you that this fix actually works. So now that's done, we'll just click Finish. I'm going to go back to Sony Movie Studio. Now we've got that installed. I'm just going to show you something else. So you might think this still doesn't work. I just want to show you something else that you need to do. I'm going to go back to that same file. Now QuickTime is installed. Click open and you'll see it still doesn't do it. So what you need to do is you just need to restart Sony Movie Studio. Of course you might need to save any uh, files that you're working on. So don't quit that without saving like I just did. Open Movie Studio up again. And I have a, a template that I have open here. So I'm going to now import that .mov file. Click Add Media, go back to the very same file, and you'll see this time that it does it allow it to open, as you can see there. I now have this lower third graphic, and for example, I might want to place this lower third graphic on this section of the video. I'll just quickly show you something else before I go. As you can see, if you do that, you just get a black background. If you want these lower thirds to be transparent, just right click, click Properties, click Media, and then just go down to this section here that says alpha channel if you actually go down to that and click unmatted straight and then click OK it'll actually put this in the bottom left hand corner and make it transparent in the rest of the screen so the actual video below it shows through please click like leave me a comment especially leave me a comment uh, and subscribe to the channel if I've helped you out thanks very much for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll see you again next time <laughs>